I'll be doing this vlog about The Matrix, but first, a quick recap of the story. The Matrix is about Thomas Anderson, who goes by the hacker alias Neo. Neo is then introduced to another hacker named Trinity, who tells him he can learn more about The Matrix from a man named Morpheus. Neo meets Morpheus, and Morpheus gives him a pill that wakes him up from The Matrix and into the real world. He quickly learns that Morpheus thinks he is the one, and that Neo will uh, save them all. They bring Neo to the Oracle to test if he is the one, but in the process, Morpheus is captured by the agents. Neo and Trinity go to save Morpheus, and during the climax, Neo gains his powers as the one and defeats the agents. This is actually my second time watching The Matrix, and in my second watching, the thing I noticed the most was the transitions and like kind of seamless editing. So that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this vlog, because there's some really, really cool scenes in The Matrix. The first one I'm going to talk about is when Neo meets Trinity in the club. Now, during this scene, they are in a club with very loud music and as the scene's coming to an end uh there's like a a beeping that starts out very slow and low like volume and slowly gets more and more and then in the next scene we see neo waking up to his alarm clock and you realize that that beeping from the previous scene was his alarm clock beeping and that's what kind of ties the two scenes like it bridges the gap with that sound of the alarm clock and that's what makes it so smooth because it's linked by the sound of the alarm clock the second one is when Neo is being bugged by the agents. Uh, the agents shove a bug into Neo's stomach, and he, uh, as it enters, Neo squirms and screams. And in the next scene, Neo wakes up squirming and screaming. And that's what ties those two scenes together, is the sound of Neo's screams and also him squirming in pain. You know, you see the, the bug go into his stomach, he squirms and screams, and then immediately it cuts to him jolting awake, and he's screaming and squirming. The next one I want to talk about is when Neo goes back into the Matrix for the first time. Uh, this is when, as Morpheus slides the little needle into the back of his head, it zooms in on Neo's face, and he kind of, like, opens his mouth and winces in pain. And then they cut to some, like, quick taps on a computer, and it cuts back to his face, wincing in pain still, and then it slowly pulls out, and you see that he is in the Matrix now. Now, it's so smooth because it uses uh, Neo's face to connect the two, to bridge that gap. Um, you see Neo's face in pain on the ship, and then you see Neo's face in pain in the Matrix, and you assume that he's just instantly been transported. It's seamless and perfect. Another transition is during the interrogation of Morpheus. Morpheus. Uh, as Agent Smith is interrogating him, the music gets loud with a rhythmic thumping in it, and then it cuts to a scene of Neo walking to the pace of that same thumping sound, and the thing connecting them is obviously that thump thumping sound, you hear the thump or the the rhythm of the interrogation, and then suddenly you see the rhythm of Neo's feet. The final transition I want to talk about is during the famous Kung F I know Kung Fu line. <laughs> Neo has just come out of his rigorous training, and he looks to Morpheus and says, "I know Kung Fu," and Morpheus responds with, "Show me." And then there's a flash of white, and we see Morpheus and Neo in a dojo, dressed in martial arts clothes. Now, this transition isn't, like, very cool, as it is just kind of a good transition. Our minds are okay with that leap from one place to another because of the context of the previous scene where Morpheus says, show me. Now, there's a ton of more really cool scenes in The Matrix, but I only had time to talk about these ones. Thank you for watching, and have a great summer.